Fabio Cannoni of Italy is trying to do right now. We will see some of the most spectacular and difficult skills ever in this final. The men can get extreme height, especially on the type of trampoline being used here. It is what's called a string bed, and it allows the athletes to jump about 5% higher than the traditional bed that is used. And Flavio finished 13th at the last Olympic Games. Maintaining his height throughout the routine. Good job so far. A little out of control on his outbounds, but not a problem. A strong start. Flavio in qualification was 41 points. Du Japon, from Japan. Up next, Tetsuya, Tetsuya Sotomura of Sotomura. Japan, the reigning world bronze medalist in both individual and synchronized trampoline. And he is a competitor who rarely finishes out of the top five at World Cup events. Japan, China, and Russia are the powerhouse countries in this event. They qualified the maximum two athletes to this final and also two spots for each of those countries to the Olympic Games. Opening with a Trifus Pike, a Trifus Tuck. Three triple elements in a row. Maintaining great control and within that rectangular box. Finishes with a Miller straight, an outstanding routine. In this event, a panel of five-year-old was the 2005 World Silver Medalist. Yashuhiro has a dozen career World Cup victories to his name. He had a great year this year, and at last year's World Cup final, he won the gold medal in Birmingham. So he's a favorite here. is what you would call, I guess, the whistling sound, just them breathing. He's giving a sharp exhale at the top of his skills, and that keeps the oxygen coming to his muscles and helps maintain the rhythm. All 10 skills land on or near the cross, and he has fantastic body positions. Opening each skill before that 12 o'clock position, of course, maintaining the arms near or close to the body, that's something that the judges are looking for, especially in some of those twisting elements. He was sixth after the Monsieur qualification Monsieur round, Oyama, and Oyama that is a big score, 40.50. 40. It's going to be one of the best scores that we're going to see all day long. Yashuhiro Uema moves into first Lama, place. From Germany. Germany's Henrik Stielek is the reigning Olympic bronze medalist. He's 26 years old and one of this sport's most consistent performers. He finished fifth at the 2005 Worlds and won the world title back in 2003. Of course, in 2003, he had the honor of winning that world title in front of his home country in Germany. Was fifth in qualification. The athlete has one minute to gain the height and the control needed for the opening skill. Traveling a little bit after his fourth skill. He regains control. He's lost a little bit of height. Traveling again. Ten solid skills. He has great experience, and that paid off here. Win the gold medal in the synchro event, who is also an Olympic medalist herself. And that moves Henrik into third place, but there are still three gymnasts yet to compete. There are two Chinese gymnasts in this final, along with two from Japan, and there are two from Russia. And here is the second of two Russians, Alexander Rusikov. He's the reigning world champion and finished fifth at the 2004 Olympic Games. He is here to defend his world title. He was third after the qualifying round, but hasn't looked as sharp at these world championships.
Starting off with big difficulty with three triples. Traveling a little bit here. Finishes big with a Miller straight. Huge degree of difficulty at 16.2. Definitely some traveling on his first and his fourth skills. And you know, Brenda, more and more athletes are paying attention to flexibility in their training. Some are hiring flexibility coaches. It's important to be limber if you want to reach those really tight piked positions and tucked positions. And the shoulders must be flexible enough to fully open for a long straight stretch on the takeoff of some of these very high and difficult elements. And of course, by maintaining the flexibility, injuries are often prevented. These athletes used to concentrate so much only on the core strength, but now they feel, as you mentioned, that flexibility is important to some great results. And Rusikov going to be a little bit disappointed with that because he will not finish in the medals here in Quebec City. Well, now we are down to our final two gymnasts. Both are from China. China's Ye Shuai had the second highest score coming out of qualification. And he's certainly come a long way in the past couple of years. The 20-year-old Chinese gymnast competed at the last World Championships in 2005 and did not even manage to qualify for the final. A great look at the tremendous height he's gaining, and he needs it for his first skill. One of the most difficult in the competition. A Rudy out Triffis has three rotations in the piked position and a one-and-a-half twist in that final salto. Fantastic technique that helps him maintain that control. Almost every skill is landing back on the cross. Outstanding, an exceptional routine. And this is a trampolinist that has yet to record a top five World Cup finish, but right now he looks in line for a medal here at the World Championships. The second half of this routine was almost flawless. He had amazing height throughout the entire routine. You know, China has come on so strong since they found out trampoline was going to be an Olympic sport in 2000. They quickly took this sport seriously. You know, at the Worlds in 1998, they sent 20 coaches out to, to watch and film everything. And then they hired Russian coaches, uh, over two dozen coaches to come in and train their, their coaches. And then they opened up many, many national training centers to start Let's building up their athletes yeah, for yeah, these upcoming Olympics. Wow, Lori, look at that. 41.40, an incredibly score. high place, score. So Ye Shai moves easily into first place ahead of Japan's Yasuhiro Uema by almost a full point. Now, here is the only man who can beat him. His teammate, Dong Dong, the top qualifier for this final. You know, three Chinese athletes were in the top four after qualifying, but only two athletes can compete in this final because of the two per country rule. So that just, again, shows the Chinese dominance. Incredible depth. The bar is set extremely high in this competition. Must be flawless to beat his teammate. Another very strong routine. That is going to be very close. I think you can safely say, though, Lori, that it's going to be China sitting 1-2 at the end of the day. But who will be in first and who will be in second? Well, the judges are going to decide that right now. I think overall we saw a little bit more traveling from Dong Dong. That will affect his execution score. His degree of difficulty will be a 15.8, a little bit lower than his teammates. The score to beat, 41.40. And Dong Dong will not quite do it, so that's going to leave him in second place.